like to introduce you to Aura. This is our new high-end quad into the aerial videography business. The unique thing about this is the transmitter. The transmitter is it's all self-contained. Everything that you need is in there. You don't have to buy any um, waypoint stations. You don't have to buy a separate monitor for video. You don't have to do you have to have all that peripheral stuff. It's all contained in the transmitter. Street price will be in the neighborhood of around $1,500 to $2,000, depending on what you want to get. We have different options with a two-axis or a three-axis gimbal. One of the cool features of it is our waypoint system, where you, you touch on the waypoint, and you say, all right, I want to start there, and I want to go here. And then I want to go here, and I want to go here, and I want to go here, okay? Once that's done, you log it all in, you hit the start button, and it'll automatically take off and go out on its own, complete its mission, come back and land at your feet. One of the other features is what we call a point of interest, which you can take one particular spot, like a house or uh, whatever you want to film. The quad will take off and it'll orbit around the house with its nose in. So using these two particular dials, you can control the camera while the quad is flying. Excellent. It's, it's very unique, very unique. And I understand it has 32 waypoints, so you can program quite a bit? Exactly. 32 okay. waypoints, uh, and you can also scroll your waypoints. It doesn't have to be a particular point. You can actually take your finger and scroll along the flight path. Okay. Now, I know that your little um, FPV Proto X mm -hmm. has a recorder in the transmitter and a recorder in the unit. Is there any recording? This, this one's all recorded, self, self recorded in the transmitter itself. Okay. On a memory card or self contained memory? It's on, it's on a memory card. Okay. Excellent. That's what you want. Okay. Thank you. Now, a demonstration flying. Okay. To, to arm it, it's really easy. You just pull both sticks down in the corner, it'll start spooling up. And once it's stabilized, you get everything up and going, you just basically add the throttle, and then what you'll see, once I come off the ground here, I'm not even touching. All I'm doing is adding the throttle, and I'm, I'm going to let go of the throttle, and there it is. It stays here, it's airborne on its own. Now, I don't have the GPS hold or the you're GPS indoors. Point because we're indoors, so I'm, I'm just flying it by manual just with the stabilization system on it. And like I say, as you can see, even, it, even by itself, manually, it's very, very stable. There's a little bit of a wind current blowing around in here. So I can feel it. Yeah. So, and it's, uh, it's, it can be, it can be whatever you want it to be. It's very stable. I'll bring it over here to you so you can see what it's doing. It can be very stable in this configuration, or if you needed to, to follow or track a, a fast moving object or something, you know, it's, it, it, it's also very, very maneuverable. I see the pitch. Yes. Okay. Now, if you look at the camera on the bottom of it. As it pitches, you, the three, you can see the three-axis gimbal in effect. See the camera is still staying horizontal and stable. Yep. So it's, it's really quite a nice machine. What size battery does it use? What's its flight time? This has a 7,000 mil pack in it, and we're getting 30 minutes of flight time out of it. Excellent. When's it going to be on the market? About March or when? This one, uh, a release date is at the end of March. And it's, again, like we said, it'll be anywhere from about $1,500 to $2,000 street price. Again, it depends on, on options as far as what you want to do with the whole gimbal system. Super stable. Well, yeah, you can you can program it. Start it. You when you're outdoors with GPS, you don't even have to fly it. It exactly. flies itself. Exactly. It has a return to home feature on the transmitter. If you hit the switch, it'll automatically come back and land at your feet. It has uh, another feature in there that you can turn the GPS coordinates off. Where if it's out flying its course, you can turn it off, bring it back, fly it manually to wherever you want to go. If you see something else that you need to film. And then turn around, hit the GPS back on, turn the GPS back on, and it'll return to its previous position in the course. Okay. 